welcome to Knight's Property Services. We're Knight's Property Services. I'm proud to support all Shot Town Football Club. By sponsoring the new Insider DVD. Time for the match! Well, Shots fans, real Shots fans, you'll remember all white on the nights. You'll remember the insider at Wolves. Well, today, it's all about Portsmouth against Aldershot Town. It's about Navy against Army. It's about the FA Cup. It's about memories from 32 years ago, the last time Aldershot came here in the FA Cup. And we went behind, but we came back to win 3-1. Today, we'll tell you the story of Portsmouth v Aldershot revisited. Thanks to two goals from Josh Scott, the shots came through the first round against Torquay. And after the game, we asked Joe Osler for his thoughts on who he'd like in the draw. I uh, would like Paul to Pompey away, uh, being a Pompey boy. 35. Number 35 is Portsmouth, reached the 2010 final, of course. Number 75. And they will be at home to Aldershot Town. Portsmouth against Aldershot Town. Graham Brooklyn, you stood in front of the fixtures board at Aldershot Town. There's one that's not on there because it's only just come about. It's a draw away to Portsmouth in the FA Cup. How did you feel Monday night when yeah, that draw was made? Absolutely fantastic. It's a draw that I think everybody wanted. I was in the living room with my son Oliver at the time, and I suppose if I'm being honest, you don't get as excited these days in the build-up because you know a draw is a draw. But I have to say, when the name Portsmouth came out. Yeah, I'll, I'll be, wow, and then he was dancing around the room like a teenager, but then he is a teenager, of course, so he's allowed to do that. But it was absolutely fantastic for the club. I think it's just what they needed. Needs a, needs a feel-good factor, needs a boost, and there's no better place to have that than an FA Cup tie against a team that won it six years ago, which is the, the biggest team we've got to play at this stage of the competition. Matt, you're queuing up for your Pompey ticket. Yeah. Where were you Monday night? Were you watching the draw? I was actually, I was actually at work. Yeah, I had it up on the uh, BBC iPlayer on the phone. I was just sitting at the desk, and yeah... As they come up, Pompey all the shots, loving it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a long time since we played there. Um, it'll, be, it, it, it'll be a good atmosphere down there, so we're probably looking forward to it. And we, and we, and we go there with a bit of a chance, don't we? Not, no pressure on this, and no. uh, every, every pressure on Portsmouth. And no real reason why, if we show some of the better form we've been showing lately, that we can't actually get a result. Absolutely, I mean, they're, they're what, half out League 2, not exactly pulling up trees. You know, we're... We're similar in, in, in the conference. We have a chance if we have a go at them. If we have a go at them, there's no reason why we couldn't get something, maybe bring them back even for a replay, or maybe, maybe even do it down there. Who knows? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to shout, definitely. Well, look who I found queuing up for his ticket today, Bryn yeah, Lucas. Right, yeah. to pay. Um, Bryn, you went to some of the big occasions with all the shot wolves, I did. particularly from memory. Yeah. 
Pompey coming up next week. Will you be able to make that? I'm, sure. I'm not. Now? I can't do it. No, I can't get there. I've, I've tried. I've had a few uh, messages go back and forth. I can't move the schedule, so unfortunately I can't go. But I'll be there on Twitter. So whoever's doing the Twitter thing, I'm going to be uh, keeping an eye on that. And uh, I'm hopeful. Not sure, but I'm hopeful. For a lot of people, this has been the ideal draw. For you, not so. No, it's, it's been a it's been a disaster. If I'm honest with you, personal feelings aside, it's a family and friend divide. Half my family and friends are Pompey, the other half of all the shots. So the banter on social media has been there. The family arguments already started. So personally, I can't wait to get out of the way next week because it's, uh, it's been a disaster. I can't wait. I mean, I've got the adrenaline pumping through my body. Um, I do believe that if we can go out there with a bit of guts, aggression, determination, pride of the badge... And, you know, we play to what we know we can play and don't let the occasion um, take over. And the, and the fans actually, they will play their bit massively. So, you know, we've got every reason to win. And I do believe that we, we can win. I hope we draw and bring them back to Aldershot. But, you know, if we win, we win. But, you know, I think it will have to be a Portsmouth team that's on their best to be as on, on Sunday. I generally do believe that. Well, I've got two very special guests here this morning who we're going to talk to now. Um, first of all, Colonel Charlie Lambert, who's the commander of Aldershot Garrison. A very good morning to you, Colonel. Good morning, Adrian. And also, we're going to speak to Shahid Azim a minute, who's the chairman of Aldershot Town Football Club. Hello, Shahid. Good morning, Adrian. Um, and just tell us a little bit about, or a lot, about the links between the Army and Aldershot Town Football Club. Well, I started by looking at the colours, funnily enough, when I first went back down to Aldershot Town Football Club. Uh, and you'll notice that the, that the club wear blue and red. Well, those are the military colours. If you go back to uh, the early days, red for the infantry, blue for the cavalry. So they still, they still wear our colours. Uh, they fly our flag uh, in the corner of the football pitch. Um, and thanks to Shahid and his team, uh, we have built over the last years, uh, or rebuilt, some very, very strong links. Uh, they've been hugely supportive uh, of us and everything that we do. Uh, uh, and in turn... You know, we are doing the very best we can to support the football club um, with soldiers who want to go down and watch their local team play and take an interest. It's a great day out for the family, and I'd recommend it to anybody. You're, you're smiling broadly. What you know, you, you, you're, you're chairman of the club. What, what, what does it mean to you personally and to your board of directors that this big game on Sunday, going down to a big club like Portsmouth? Let's face it, they won the FA Cup back in 2008. Well. It, it, it's, it's, last time I was at Aldershot was in 2000. Sorry, Aldershot. Uh, Portsmouth was 2003. They played uh, Liverpool. Uh, it's a fantastic ground. But you know, last year we were at Shortwood, so we lost there. So it's, 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 it just changes the whole FA Cup thing. Is you never know who you get out of the hat. And it, it's not just for the board actually. It is for Aldershot and it is for the it's for the town. So here we are at the Electrical Services Stadium on Friday the 7th of November previewing the Ports of Game. And as you can see behind me, the players are now in the buzzing mood as they're having breakfast and anticipating this FA Cup clash away at Ports. So let's go and see what they've got to say and what their views are. So Matt, when the draw was made, just sort of sum up your feelings and how the squad are feeling right now. I was on the M40 on the outside lane, I'll be careful. Um, I was going to watch the game and it was a great draw for us, it was perfect really, best draw we could have had. Joe Oster's really happy because he's got a Portsmouth tattoo on the outside of his calf. Show the tattoo to the, to the fans. <laughs> Show the tattoo, Joe. <laughs> um, just to keep everyone informed, Joe Oster's got a, a Portsmouth Till I Die tattoo on his, on his calf, which I'm sure he'll show everyone later on because he's really proud of it. So there's no biased traits there from Joe? Well, we're actually questioning whether we can play him or not because we don't know where his allegiances lie. So uh, we're going to have to be careful uh, and, and make the, choose the team wisely. Joe, you got the tattoo we want to see? No, I actually haven't got one. I don't know what he's doing with that. So, Joe, we spoke to you a couple of weeks ago after the Torquay game and I did ask you the question who you wanted, knowing who you supported. What were your reactions when the draw was made? Yeah, it was very pleasing. Obviously, all my family was going mental as well. So uh, yeah, it's, it's obviously pleasing, but... Um, no, we've still got a job to do. We now come over and see Jaden Gibbs. Jaden, you're not usually camera shy. If you don't mind a few words, my oh, friend. Oh, I'm going to go. Make sure you're looking. So, Jaden, in regards to training this week, how has sort of the mood been with all the players? Um, yeah, it's been good actually. I didn't, uh, everyone kind of went about it. It was in everyone's mind if we got 
pump your way, be crowd for a lot of the players. Um, it's probably the biggest some of have played in, especially mine. So yeah, I think we're pretty pleased with the draw. I'm oh, looking forward to it. Um, you know, a big game, so hopefully you can get a good result. Um, I'm called the lads are looking forward to it, but um, it's a good training session today and then uh, get ready for it over the weekend. You've recently played an England C cap, so you're sort of now known to a big game. How is this game ranking amongst the ones you've played so far? Yeah, it's big for the lads. Um, it's a big game for the, for the club. Um, but it's just down to us to go out there, put on a performance for the fans, um, and hopefully we can get something for the game. So, when the draw was, when the draw was made, was it sort of excitement buzz really around the house? Yeah, no, all the all the teams we could get in, we got Portsmouth, it was exciting for like I said, the club and the lads, and obviously we've got local lads from Portsmouth, so it's always it's gonna be a big occasion. So so yeah, I'm sure like the atmosphere of the day will be, will be good, will be a good day. So we're now behind the scenes where some of the players are making breakfast and I'm gonna highlight Dan Pitts. So Dan, what are you eating and why? Um, I've already had breakfast at home, but I've just come in and had some more what's this? All brand? Just to keep me going, really, for the for the rest of the training, really. But so this is going to fire you up ahead of training today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a lot of boys have eggs and there's toast and whatnot, so it's just all healthy, good stuff which keeps keeps us going, really. I'm really looking forward to it. Supporters, everybody, the lads are buzzing, aren't they? So hopefully we give a good account of ourselves. What do you think the lads will take from this? Because some of them, you know, this is the biggest game in their career to date. I don't know till after, do you? <laughs> I don't know what they take out of it, so we know where we do. But I've every confidence we do well. And sort of preparation for this game has been all good. Yeah, brilliant. Same as always. And any sort of injury concerns at all? Is it some players yeah, likely to come yeah. back? There's a couple, yeah. But uh, we're not sure yet. And sort of, you seem very calm in that. Are you not the sort of? Have you been in football too long to get carried away with anything? No, I just had my eggs and I enjoyed them. And <laughs> we're going to do some training now. <laughs> so as a coach, so you've come in with all the banter during training. That when you've got home, how have you managed to relax yourself? <laughs> 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 I'm going to say, you've had the training, you've had sort of the banter with the group of players. Sort of when you've got home, how have you been able to relax yourself and sort of forget about it? Um, I don't know, I'm not sleeping at night, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sleep at night, all I keep thinking about is the game. So, uh, no, it's, uh, it's been a good week, as I say, and uh, we're looking forward to it. So if I can just grab a quick word and interrupt the captain for two minutes. Right, while I'm eating my toast, yeah, brilliant. Go on. Glenn Wilson, you'll lead the side out against Port, so that must be something you'll take away for a long, long time. Yeah, definitely. If I'm selected, obviously we don't know the team yet. So, uh, yeah, something I'm looking forward to. It's a great occasion for the club and we're all excited for it. Is it the draw you wanted? I know Joe Oster came out publicly and said this was a draw for him. Do you feel the same? Not really, no. I wanted to do that. I suppose the easiest team left us, I'd say, at home. But if you're not going to get that, then yeah, you want the biggest team. It's probably the best one for the club, so everyone's looking forward to it. We have a word with Brett Williams. Quickly interrupt Brett while he's eating his scrambled eggs on toast. Brett Williams. How you doing, no? Yeah, I'm very good. You're from Southampton, so this game yeah. doesn't really get much bigger for you, does it? Uh, no, yeah, I've been a big Southampton fan. So, um, yeah, looking forward to playing against Pompey. So now the Pompey fans might see some of this. You're going to enjoy some of the hostile reception you're going to get as a Saints fan. Yeah, um, it comes with it. Um, um, I'll have a myself or two. <laughs> <laughs> or it will um, get me more up for it, so hopefully the second one. So when the draw was made, how were your feelings personally ahead of this? Oh, I was, I was just ecstatic. Oh, free advertisement. Um, I was at, I was at my journal live. I was at my missus' house and um, her mum wondered what the hell was going on. So, uh, yeah, very excited. So, she naked again. Yeah. so ahead of this, how have you had to calm yourself down away from all the other lads and how they're feeling? Um, no, I'm, all, I'm, yeah, I'm not really calm anyway, so it just, I'll just go with the flow. I'm not, like, don't really think about it. I'll be alright when, when it comes to it, I think. You're looking forward to scoring some goals and sending us through to the second round, yeah? Yeah, hope so. Um, got new boots, pink ones are going, so hopefully more goals now. So it hasn't been good enough. But hopefully new boots, new goals, Brett. Thanks very much. Cheers.
Chris Barker, we'll grab a word with Chris while he's eating his toast. Chris, you're one of the, you're one of the more experienced players in this team. How are you feeling ahead of this one? Yeah, feeling good. Feeling good. Hopefully uh, we can obviously train well today and then and take it to a game Sunday. you played some big games in your career. How does this one rank amongst you? Uh, yeah, i played big games, big crowds, big stadiums. And like I say, you want to play as big a crowd as you can. Uh, Obviously, uh, to play in front of 15, 25,000 people would be good, and hopefully we have a, a good result. Fratton Park doesn't phase you at all, does it, the atmosphere, and that is just another game for you? It's just another game, yeah, another stadium, but I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Manny will pile me off there. Turn that off, man. <laughs> so Chris, <laughs> kill me there. Chris, is there any, Chris, is there any sort of added want for you, given the fact that Richie was managing Porsa for a Do you have to mention that, do you? I have to mention that, yeah. They've not twigged onto that yet. <laughs> So, is there any sort of added want for you ahead of that one? No, not really, no. It's just obviously this, this situation, the circumstances of the club at the time, it didn't work out. Uh, I think he had three or four months there, but hopefully the club can do quite well. Uh, but apart from Sunday, hopefully we can get a, get a win there. And have you had to calm any of the players down ahead of training? There's been too much excitement. Yeah, especially Brett Williams. <laughs> he's a very excited kid. <laughs> there we go. Cheers, guys. Nice. Uh, looking forward to it. It's a big game and we all want to play, so hopefully it's a good game. So, in regards to training this week, I'm sure there's been a brilliant atmosphere like there has been upstairs just now. Yeah, there is, but it's just it's another normal week for us, so we're taking it as, a, as another game as it is. So, you're very level headed about this. Is, are you always like this calm and composed before games? Yeah, no matter who we play, it's, it's just a football match. It's us against them on the day, and whoever turns up will win the game. So, what, what have you sort of done as you've gone home to sort of hide the excitement from this one? Nothing, same as always, just go home, relax with the family and just, just chill out. So can you see the headline written in the paper, Cup Shock, all the shot win? Oh, I don't think it's a shock if we win. So hopefully we do and then we'll move on to the next round. I've got to mention this Burton flag. Andy, now what's this Burton flag doing at the front come of the Come on van? you Brewers, come on you Brewers, and eh? This is all the shots town day, Andy. Sort of how have you sensed the feeling around the place since the draw was made? Um, there's been a bit of a buzz, obviously. Yeah, very good. Very good, it is. And, and do you see the, the headlines written in the papers on Monday morning? I'd like a replay first and beat them in the replay, to be honest. But, um, yeah, every opportunity we've got to go there on Sunday, put in a good performance and get a shot.